What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. Today, we're taking a look at the Claw and Ranger from Two Mods Audio. All right, you guys, so let's take a look at today's pedal. It is the Klon Ranger. It is from Mark at Two Months Audio. I'm a big fan of Klon pedals. Uh, I, I was actually really excited when he said he had a Klon that he was going to send out, and I just, I was really excited. So I like Klons. I like what they're what they're capable of and what they can do to an amp. Um, I have a Klon KTR, an original, and then I have, I think, 11 Klon variants of uh, different different types. So... Super excited to check this out, and we kind of know it's going to be based on just a regular clone. We have gain, uh, tone, and level, and then we have a three-way toggle switch that Mark's kind of already come to be known for. So in the up position, we have uh, single germanium diodes. Uh, it is the 1N34A germanium diodes. Uh, so S, again, is a single, but it also kind of represents like a stock position uh, that's how I see all of uh, Mark's pedals so far. And that middle position is D, and it's dual diodes. Uh, so you'll have two in each direction. However, it is silicon diodes uh, in the middle and in the bottom. The bottom position is A, which is asymmetrical. So it's two diodes in one way, one diode in the other direction. Uh, those are also silicon diodes. But this is a part of the art series that Mark does. And if you guys take a look at that amazing graphic at the top here, You'll notice that the ins and outs have little horseshoes. And I think that is really freaking cool. Uh, it's absolutely just the little details that kind of set things apart. And I think that was a really nice little touch, man. That's super cool. So huge shout out to Mark at Two Mutts for letting me check this out. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the gear really quick. And we'll get it all plugged up and see what it does. So the gear on today's episode, we're going to be using the, the Klon Ranger, and that's going to go into my Mesa single rectifier. Uh, the Mesa is a great amp. It's I've got it kind of, you know, a little higher gain crunch uh, than it probably needs to to really showcase this, but I know how Klon sounds with that particular amp, and I know what kind of sound I'm looking for. So that's why I chose it. Uh, that is all going into... Um, well, I should say this is actually going to be going into the pedal, and that's my Weller's Rat Rod. So we're going to use this. It has a medium output, Ultratron from Arcane Inc. It's kind of that medium Filtertron style pickup. And uh, yeah, so that's going to go into the Klon. That will go into the Mesa. And then that goes into my Mojo Tone ISO cab. The Mojo Tone ISO cab is loaded with a Jensen Raptor 100 and a Jensen Nighthawk 75. Both of those are mic'd up with the SC Electronics V7X microphone.
right, you guys, we have got the clawn pedal done. Um, this thing is incredible. I, I really like this a lot. Uh, I really enjoy the clawn pedal with the asymmetrical clipping. This thing shines on a whole different level than most of the other clawn pedals I have. Now, here's what I'm going to say. In the S position, it's a standard clawn, uh, without a doubt. It's got the sound. It's got the, you know, the mojo or the, the mystical legend or whatever you want to call it. The sound is there. It's, it's a clawn. Um, yeah, it's, I'm actually going to do another video, I think, now. I'm going to do a shootout with a Klon KTR. I want to see how close of a clone this is to a real Klon. And, uh, yeah, I want to I want to do a shootout. Uh, now, when you go into the D position, that dual diode, I really think it fattens up that sound a little bit. Klons do kind of have a low, low end. Uh, they're not real thick on the low end. So it's not that it's tightening up the signal. It's just it doesn't really emphasize or push the low end. So... With that dual clipping, um, it just kind of is adding that extra wall to me. It just it fills the sound out a little bit more. Um, yeah, it just it kind of sounds a little fuller. Now on the asymmetrical, I just like his his tube screamer, the high the high scream. This again tightens up a little bit and it adds a lot more mid presence. I mean, it just this thing sounds incredible in the asymmetrical clipping mode. Uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a Klon. I highly recommend this so far. Uh, I, again, I'm going to do a shootout uh, with my Klon KTR. I want to see how well this is. Uh, Mark doesn't know I'm going to do that yet. Uh, he'll find out when he watches this video. And yeah, let's, uh, uh, again, man, two months audio. Mark, thanks a lot again for letting me check this out. Um, I have to get to uh, some stuff and I'm going to, uh, yeah, we're going to film another video. So you guys stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.